Hey guys, Nomus RC. So I crashed my A10 uh, a little while ago, maybe a couple months ago, and I just haven't done anything with it since. Uh, so here is the two 64 millimeter EDFs that were in it, and here's the uh, dual ESCs that were in it, 6S, 40 amp each. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I didn't know if I was going to just buy a new fuselage and repair the A10 or what. So I got this 3D printer and I got this harebrained idea that I'm going to make a jet boat. So I wanted to put these things just out in the open air and have them push a boat. So I figured why not design one? So here we go. We got it all designed. Uh, all these files... There will be a link below for all these files. They're available on my Thingiverse if you wanted to do the same. Alright, so we got all those printed. Here's our back pieces, what I called part number one, part number two. And then we got part number three and four. I've already glued them together, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fill it with, uh, with foam. Uh, expansion foam. That way, if there is any leaks or anything like that, hey, I won't have to worry about it whatsoever. Um, and then the, these will also be getting painted, uh, sanded and painted. I did print off the uh, rudder, and then we got some linkage for that rudder. And then we'll provide it a uh, servo and a receiver. Uh, we got the nacelles printed off. Uh, so I made a hole there for the wires to come out. Uh, these actually fit because they had little tabs where they screwed into the old nacelles on the A10. And those, I went ahead and used those. Uh, so they drop right in there like that. Alright, so I'm waterproofing all the electronics. Uh, I have a BEC here that I took the heat shrink off of. And then I just completely layered it in uh, liquid electrical tape. And then with the ESCs, what I like to do uh, is I rip the heat shrink on the ESC back, just to back far enough just to expose all the wiring. Right? And then just layer it with liquid electrical tape. It makes a nice seal. And then you're good to go. So we'll do these two ESCs. We got the BEC done, and then we'll do the receiver. So I've got quite a few choices for receiver. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one, the uh, 6210 6 channel. And mainly the reason I'm going to go with it is because I do have a spare satellite receiver. And so... It would be nice to uh, make sure that this thing is double protected because it's going to be in the water and I don't really have any way to get out to it except for to swim. So just to make sure I don't lose signal or have anything crazy happen. Let's go ahead and waterproof these two devices. All right, so we got the cases taken apart. Uh, because this one is a multi-layered PCB board, you just really want to make sure and jam, you know, uh, liquid electrical tape all into every crack and crevice. Uh, what I like to do, too, is plug in a whole bunch of uh, servo connectors. That way I don't have to worry about getting it all over these connectors. And then you can just, you know, layer it on. We got them both completely layered with liquid tape. Uh, I already went ahead and put the case back on this one. We're going to go ahead and put the case on this. Honestly, at this point, the case is almost kind of pointless. Uh, but it looks a little bit nicer, and uh, it'll be easier to mount with double-sided tape to something. So we'll get these put back together, and then our receiver situation is done. This is the BEC, but I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, this stuff is really nice because it sets up in a few minutes uh, and becomes not tacky within maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So you can handle it and, you know, do stuff with it, install it if you need to. Uh, within 10 or 15 minutes. All right, well, it's really starting to take shape. I got the electronic box installed, so I just cut out. I just printed this, put it on here, traced the line around it, cut it out, glued it in. Um, not too much more, and then it'll be ready for uh, prep and paint and then assembly. All right, guys, I got it all painted. Uh, I coated it in bed liner. Uh, top and bottom and then uh, I did get the motors completely epoxied in so my EDFs are in there uh, I put my what's beginning to be my classic logo 
on the machine and I painted the skull in gold and then did some red accents and some white teeth did silver on a few things and then clear coated it with plastic dip uh, clear plastic dip to seal in the paint because I just use like paint pens like I said I've only got the motors installed so far all the rest of the electronics are actually going to go into this spot right here um, and then this is kind of like a canopy for it um, and I did make a lip on it right here and they both have rubber coatings on them so that'll make a nice seal I mean obviously in a boat nothing's perfectly sealed um, battery trays right here it's completely epoxied on um, it'll actually fit a 6s 5000 um, but I could also run a 4s 5000 you know whatever whatever I want to run in it so this is what's left of the electronics to install uh, we got our receiver here uh, we have a satellite wire that actually goes up to a satellite that is mounted right at the top of the boat um, DSM satellite and then we do have a uh, BEC that runs the receiver and then two 6S ESCs uh, that run each motor so let's get it uh, let's get it plugged in and just do kind of a test run on it make sure everything's working before we get everything mounted so on the receiver I have uh, I have the motors are on a Y cable so that they both both motors will plug into one channel and it's the throttle channel this is a six, cha six channel air receiver and then the steering servo for the rudder uh, plugs into ailerons and then the BEC plugs into any other available port all right let's get the uh, get the radio kicked on So I made the battery box big enough that we'd really have some options. Can do a 6S5000, can do a 5S5000, a 4S5000, kind of whatever we want here. All right, here we go. We got everything installed. I even made uh, body pins for the canopy so that it stays nice and secure on here. Made little brackets. So that's good. All the wiring comes out of right back here. The wiring coming up to the satellite. So we actually have two receivers. Uh, totaling three antennas uh, so we'll be good on signal motor wires come out here plug right in the servo lead comes out comes to the servo here and that's where we have our battery tray let's fire it up and see if uh, I have it all wired correctly armed, armed. <laughs> holy Shit, that is a lot of air. Plenty of rudder movement. Make sure that throttle cut actually works. Successful test that was only about 60% throttle and it was completely ridiculous <laughs> It was almost scary to even do in the house at that high um, So 100% should be really really good should be really good on this boat It is it is a hefty boat especially with the battery now installed in it um, But not too bad. I would say just a few pounds um, I would say with the battery it doesn't weigh any more than the a10 did so pretty happy about that that's looking good, guys. What do you think? As always, 